Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otzelsti, and welcome back in our colony of oxygen not included. The last time we struggled a bit with the, the calories. I assume, at least for this episode, we should be good, but then probably we have not yet seen the last of uh, the food crisis. So, the next thing we have to, uh, to deal with is uh, actually getting a bit of power production going. And for that, we will dig out big space on this side so we can have uh, proper uh, power plant set up going uh, and then we should also be able to uh, instead of have mealwood farms have uh, uh, the uh, the blossom farms um, we have yeah here bristle blossoms um, and have proper kitchen and cooking going and all this should help with uh, getting more calories um, for our duplicates. Here on this side, we managed to uh, um, set this farm up. Um, not sure if this works as it should because we are not yet um, producing enough oxygen so we uh, move some down here luckily the uh, air temperatures down here are still freezing cold so we get the, the cooling effect of the uh, air which comes in at uh, 35 degrees which is not very hot and we are going out with uh, minus 24 which should have a nice cooling effect yeah here uh, right beside the vents we see it clearly but also um, you're not too hot here in the middle we do have a bit of uh, machinery that creates heat um, so yeah okay they're making their way up there and Hopefully also down here. Yes. And I'm probably we will let all the uh, liquids um, just drain down here. Um, I don't care uh, mixing them. We have polluted water we have salt water um, we probably will not uh, dig this out this cool steam vent because we probably will need that at at some point speaking of uh, this one is still active uh, once it is dormant we can then also go and analyze it so then let's see if we should do any uh, skill distribution yeah maybe here need a bit more uh, construction workers then on this map we do have a bit of uh, of iron but so far i have not seen any 
large patches of uh, iron. And here we have a bit more, which could be a bit of a, of a problem when it comes uh, to our need for steel. So, yeah, that's that. Let's see. Temperature wise. We will have. Move something like this. And I, I'm thinking here I will have uh, a fungus farm. So let's plan that out. Here we will have a wall and then uh, a ladder here on the uh, inside. And they will grow too high. We have another layer here and a third layer there. And probably want one, two, three, four. Maybe then go out here a bit. The way over there. And two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Something like this, and then we have a bit like that. Um, we can have a door here, and then dig everything out. Water levels are going down here, um, not too worrisome. We have more water here on that side, but of course once that is used up, we have a bit more up here, but also a bit of salt water in there. Then we either have to uh, uh, use That's not good. Yeah. Nice. Nice safe there. Um, we'll put you into the farm. Yeah, either we have to desalinate uh, the output of one of these uh, uh, water geysers and the water that's coming out here is usually too hot so we have to cool that down or uh, we use the water from over here which we probably also have to cool down. So we need a cooling system set up going anyway. 
but it looks like we have uh, settled here the level up and down so that we can continue with the dig project but we take that uh, barbecue um, then stations we want to have a farm station in here And then here we'll plant our one and only fungal spore. Do not have that much slime to feed it. But that's mainly because we have not gotten around um, to collect huge amounts of uh, of slime so we need to get to here uh, then we need to drain this down there Um, I think I will leave that untouched and basically then we will have way over here that way and drain this like that and I would assume that here in this area we will have uh, uh, gate uh, atmosphere to dock um, to get in and out and then we probably would not need this uh, this water lock here anymore but only time will Hell, probably. And here at the bottom, do it that way. We will need to dig this one up, at least for now. Um, maybe let's not break these out because I want to uh, drain everything downwards.
lot of digging going on at the moment. And that will probably continue for for a bit. This one is still just idle. We're making we're making progress. Um, can even think about doing a bit more research. Um, looking if there is anything that we need. Um, maybe we can do a bit of uh, in, in this direction. There's not that much uh, uh, left actually, or that much left that we would need to reach our goal, because uh, there are still two possibilities. One is we find ourselves uh, a volcano that we then use uh, for our power production. Plus, I also want to use the magma that comes out of the volcano. And then the other option is the big statue which requires quite a bit of steel and so far i have not seen that much iron ore on this map so that might not be a, a really feasible option however if we cannot find uh, a volcano uh, then of course that will be our only option. But we will see. We're still in transitioning into the, the middle phase of the game. Uh, where we have to focus on getting uh, the power set up. Um, uh, figured out so we can have better farmers more duplicants, uh, better morale, all the good stuff. But I think this does it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and join me next time when we do a bit more digging here on this side. Until then, goodbye! <laughs>